Assemblyman Dan Benson with us. He represents the 14th Legislative District of New Jersey. Thank you for all your support, Assemblyman. May I now request all our partners to, to get off the stage so that represented here to recognize this amazing and auspicious crowd and all that you do to spread the wonderful teachings of yoga and the wonderful health that it brings. I have a, an official proclamation signed by our leaders in the legislature, our state senate president, Steve Sweeney, and our speaker of the assembly, Frank Coughlin. Um, and on behalf of myself, Senator Linda Greenstein, uh, and Wayne D'Angelo, we're here to recognize June 21st as the 5th International Day of Yoga, which is being observed here today by this event by over 2,000 people. Can we get a round of applause for that alone? And we know this is being recognized by millions of people throughout the world today. As you heard, it was established by the United Nations General Assembly five years ago. We especially appreciate the participation in this noteworthy cause, our Dow Portrone Lynch, yourself, and we have a copy for you as well. Vikas Khanna, Gaur Gopal Das, and Dr. Manjit Kaur, also Chinmay Pantankar, and we have copies of this resolution for each of them. Let's give them all a round of applause. As this discipline has enhanced the physical and spiritual well-being of people for thousands of years, yoga has gained worldwide popularity due to its immense health benefits and because it helps bring about inner peace by reducing stress and anxiety, something our young ones know far too often at a too young of an age. And that's why it's so important. I'm so happy to see so many young people here in the audience. It is all together fitting and proper for the members of our legislature in the state of New Jersey to acknowledge this fifth International Day of Yoga and to affirm its importance to the people of New Jersey. So now, therefore, be it resolved by the legislature and the state of New Jersey that we recognize this day as the fifth International Day of Yoga and encourage all of our citizens of the state to participate fittingly in its observance. Congratulations. Thank you, Samina. Now, I would like to introduce to you a man who needs no introduction. Mr. Vikas Khanna is, a, is not only a chef, he is a, is a great author as well. He has written already 34 books. I'm sure a lot of those are books. Oh, no. <laughs> he has uh, written the most expensive cookbook, Utsa. But apart from that, he has also, uh, is, is a great creative person. He has written, uh, he's written and directed his new film called The Last Color. Uh, me, May I now welcome Mr. Vikas Khanna to make his remarks. Hey everyone, good morning. I think a trip to New Jersey reminds me that India is still living in America and it's in our Sometimes when you're living in New York, you keep forgetting. 
that the power of India is so collective. And yoga has been extremely helpful, especially with the kind of profession which I am. It helps me to actually be very, very meditative and it calms me down. I can have lot and lots of anxiety because I work in many different time zones and this is the only thing which has kept me calm besides the mother. And I'm really proud and uh, that what Mr. Sandeep Ambassador has said that this is